Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to use the camera on Google Pixel 6a. So let's open up the camera app. It's going to ask for location. I'm going to select don't allow. Location is used if you turn it on in order uh, for the location to be stored in pictures and videos. Now it says it turns on by default top shot. So top shot is like live videos on the iPhone. And so what it will do is when you take a picture, it will also record a short video. I'm going to select done. I'll show you how to turn that one off later. Okay, so we are brought to the homepage of the camera app. We have camera, video, and all these other modes. To switch the mode, just tap on the mode you want to switch to. So if I want to switch to portrait, boom. If I want to switch to video, boom, okay. Now let's start off with the camera. So we have the settings, let's tap on this one. You see here, more light, night sight, and flash. So by default, night sight is set to automatic. So if you're in a low light situation, you use night sight and it will give you a no light uh, image. When you're in the day, you will not have the low light effect. Then you have the flash, so you can turn on the flash. So if I take a picture, you can see the flash will turn on and it will be used for the picture. That took a while. Uh, so let's go back here we have the top shot. So remember the top shot, I was talking about that one earlier. It is disabled if you have flash on, so just make sure that it's turned off. We set to night sight. And top shot, I recommend you turn this one off, okay? So I'm just gonna turn that one off. Uh, again, it's like a live photo uh, on iPhone. Takes a photo and on top of that, a quick video as well. Timer, so if you turn on the timer and you tap on the shutter button, which takes the photo, then it will have a time down before the photo starts. So this is useful if you have your phone mounted and you want to get that picture from the background. Uh, I'm obviously going to have that one off. Then we have the ratio here. So by default, it's going to use 4 by 3. If you want the 16 by 9 ratio, you can change that one right here. Now you have more settings. So save location. So remember what I said earlier, if you have location services on, you can save location in the photo and video uh, information. Camera sound. So you know when I took a picture, you heard sound, you can have that one on or off. Google Lens suggestions, if you scan a QR code, it'll bring you to a website. Uh, if you put an eSIM, you know, SIM cards in the frame, it'll bring you to the settings app, stuff like that. Uh, I recommend you keep that one on. Social share, so you can change which applications you can social share to. Gestures, so the volume keys by default allow you to take pictures, okay? That's called a shutter. If I tap on this one, you can change it to zoom, volume, and just have the volume keys do nothing, that is up to you. And then device storage, it will show you the amount of storage left. Storage saver will take low quality pictures. Uh, turn off storage when available. So what this means is it will just block the storage when there is under a gigabyte left. You also have the option for Google to help you free up space. Now if we go to advanced here, you have show dirty lens warning. I recommend you keep this one on. If there's any debris or whatever, it will just tell you to clean the lens so you get a better quality shot. Raw plus JPEG control. So if you want the highest quality pictures, turn this one on. Uh, very large file size, but you'll get the highest quality. If you don't plan on doing photo editing, I recommend you turn this one off. If you do, you want raw photos to so turn that one on. Store videos efficiently. So this will use different formats for the videos. Um, it is useful if you're only planning on using Google Pixel 6. Uh, but the second you start using other devices, uh, you're going to have compatibility issues, you know, the video may not play. So it's up to you whether or not you keep this. Uh, just keep in mind, if you're using a Windows computer, you're going to have issues playing the video. Uh, some other Android devices will have issues. If you use an iPhone, an iPad, a MacBook, no problems. So it really depends what devices you use. Social media depth features. So this will save the depth of you know parts of your picture for social media. I personally think that's not really necessary. Time lapse for astrophotography. So uh, the astrophotography feature, which we'll show in a bit, you can have time lapse on. And then the timer light. So it will use a flash, okay, to flash to show how many seconds left when you're doing the timer. You have the framing hints. So, you know, I'll give you tips when it comes to like, you know, positioning your camera, stuff like that. Grid, so you can have a grid in the camera frame, okay, the grid right there. I'm gonna turn this one off. White balance, so these are manual controls if you want to manually change you know, the temperature. So you know, people talk about night light or night shift, that uses orange light, okay? And then you have on the other end of the spectrum, blue light, so you can switch between those. And exposure is the brightness and the shadow. So these are manual controls uh, which will be allowed to change. 
and you have the camera resolution so full resolution or medium and then save selfie as previewed uh, so what you may not know is when you take a selfie the preview and the actual shots will be flipped okay so the preview will be flipped uh, definitely recommend you turn this one on so what you're looking at in the camera frame is actually what you get so let's go back out so we have the 0.6 that uses the ultra wide camera we have the one which uses the main camera there is no telephoto camera uh, so when you select 2x it's actually using digital zoom okay now let's go to video so if we tap on this icon here we have video specific settings so flash resolution and frame rate okay so i can go to 4k 60 fps boom so when it comes to resolution uh, the higher the better okay so the more pixels frame rates the more frames the smoother the video looks right you also have slow motion so this will record quarter speed and then you also have time lapse okay so times 5 10 30 120. now let's go to portrait mode so what this does is it gives you a natural background blur for certain objects so so i get this iphone 7 here see if it actually works it's going to be kind of tough so if i just put the iphone 7 here let's see can we add that blur seems like there is a blur i'm not sure let's go to regular camera it doesn't seem like it's being recognized so i'm going to move back a little bit put the iphone 7 in frame and regular camera mode now i'm switching to portrait mode kind of is there i'm not sure let's just take a portrait uh yeah actually yeah i think the portrait mode uh, is working there so you can also do the same for your front face okay so let's try and get the portrait mode to work We'll take a picture on portrait and i'll go to regular camera take a picture so let's look at the difference regular uh, swipe to the left portrait so you can see the background blur is applied portrait regular look at that background blur right there and so if we go to night sight so this is only useful when you're in dark mode okay so dark mode meaning you know it's dark outside i'm in the studio lit room so obviously this won't be useful uh, so when it's dark you just tap on the shutter and you'll be good to go now if you ever want to do astrophotography you will need a tripod you place the phone on the tripod and you tap the button it will recommend to use astrophotography and so when you tap on the button it will use astrophotography and then you have to wait five minutes and you get this beautiful sky shot if you go to modes you have panorama which is just a really wide photo you have a shutter you can move it around Try and do a better job than me but uh yeah it will, it will show you where you like you're trying to keep the phone in the frame for and you just move around for the best shot you can cancel early and uh stop to get the uh saved image let's go back to camera and modes so you have photosphere which is like a 360 view and you have google lens google lens allows you to scan like qr codes stuff like that directly so with that being said thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye